Wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> <laughs> I usually don't have a place to put my camera up this high. So, we're definitely not at our house right now. We're doing something really special. Now, months ago I alluded that this was going to happen, but I mean, it's been almost a year. So, we're here, finally doing it. Welcome back to the channel, Ramblers. My name is Amra with the Ramblin' Richardsons. And I know that the channel has kind of slowed down in the last six months or so. So I wanna address a couple of things. First, go down there, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell so you don't miss any of the videos that we post. So we haven't been posting as much We've got some things to tell you guys. We did a collaboration with, I'm from Driftwood, and a lovely individual by the name of Nathan. You'll see a video I posted over here about uh, Nathan and I meeting over a year ago and doing some pre-work for a collaboration on his channel. I did have the opportunity to work with Nathan and he did ask for me to share our story. So I said gladly. And that's kind of about what the theme is for today's video, but I'll put the link right up here. We are gonna be recording a video for another YouTube channel called I'm From Driftwood. So if you go up here, click on this little video up here, when I met with Nathan the first time to go over a story that we're gonna tell on his channel. So I just got to his apartment complex. I'm about to go in and meet him and go ahead and get the recording done. Almost a year later, it's been crazy with quarantine and COVID and all sorts of things happening, but we're here. Let's go and see. It's been maybe a month now since it's been out on his channel. Uh, but please go check out that video um, or Nathan's channel. I don't know. Maybe in the description box. I'll figure out how to get you guys a link over to it. But please go check out his channel. Lovely individual. Lovely stories. Everyone from uh, Alan Cummings is, was on there. Um, and we've got politicians. We've got actors, musicians. Um, we told the story um of basically our our love story, um, Heather and I meeting, falling in love, and starting our family. My story over on his channel, I'm not gonna tell my story here on this channel, it's not what this channel is about, but that story's over on I'm From Driftwood. Please, please go check that out. So I wanted to kind of just touch base on a couple of things um, during the first year that were just standout things to know um, for our child. This is our experience, so our child. I got a little list, you know how I like lists. Um, so I wanted to go over a couple of things. And like everyone tries to give you advice um, and it's very overwhelming, but here are the standout things from the last year. I'm gonna break it down into months so it makes it a little easier. So zero to three months, um, mine's been, the first four weeks, the first month of her life in the NICU. Um, but if you're fortunate to have your child come home, the first three months are going to be just an absolute blur. Your baby is going to sleep most of the time. I've literally walked through HEB with lying in one of those little mommy pack things, you know, that they just sit right in here. I walked through the middle of the grocery store with her just sleeping on in the little pouch, didn't even flinch. And then it's just, they wake up, you feed them, neighbor's dog barking, you feed them, you change them, and then they fall back asleep. And then you can go back to do what you want. I used to clean the house, put some music on, and she would just sleep straight through that. So that is really the first like three months of your life if you're just changing their diaper, feeding them, putting them back to sleep. And you'll get into a rhythm every three to four hours. Pro tip, if you have a partner, 
just alternate every other time. It keeps it fair because you will burn out. The next three months, three to six months, are a little bit better. The baby's still sleeping between three and six hours. Maya did not have very much sleep regression, so she just kept sleeping longer and longer and then being awake longer and longer. So the cycle that you create in the first three months is now not as good. It's not as regimented. You're gonna introduce tummy time where they lay, instead of on their backs, they lay on their stomachs and push themselves up and like try to reach for things. You try to get them to follow your, you know, your voice or follow a rattler, things like that. You're also, instead of feeding them just formula, just milk, you can start introducing some curried foods to them a little bit, just at a time. The next three months, six to nine months, are probably the coolest as the baby will start to babble, the baby is crawling, the baby maybe even standing, the baby can start doing things like pointing to things. Um, you're starting to introduce um, soft foods, regular foods, but just soft like mashed potatoes and things like that to the baby. Um, they're sitting up now on their own most of the time. The last three months here, nine to 12 months, baby's walking, baby is now eating normal, regular food. You can come off of whole uh, formula if you're on formula and start introducing like whole milk. Teeth start to come in. Each child progresses differently. Every time we go to the pediatrician, it seems like we're just shy of what the goals are for that age range, what the average is, what that age range should be. But thing is, Lion was born a whole month early, four weeks early. So we give, we give her a month of grace. I'm gonna have to pause this because my wife is calling. Just a second. Turns out my wife is on her way home. Okay, last bit of the video. We still have one announcement I haven't even gotten to yet, so hold on. Okay, so there's a neighbor's dog. Oh my god, every time we wanna talk, the neighbor's dog. Last announcement here. You get trying to tie everything all into family and everything like that that we're doing here. So part of why we've slowed down is that I've taken a step back from the channel a little more to be more uh, present for my family. Not everything is about putting it up on social media. So I've slowed down on our videos so that when we go out to do something together as a family, it's not content, it's our life. Like I do share parts of our life with you, but this isn't, all just for content. I'm not doing all of this just for content. I'm doing this because I legitimately want to spend time with my family and I want to be present in those moments with them. I don't want to just be behind the camera 100% of the time filming it as it goes by. I want to be part of those experiences with my family. And that is why we are proud to announce a soft announcement that my wife is starting a channel. And if you are good sleuths, you can go find her. Now I'm not gonna tell you what the channel name is, but it's definitely similar to Ramblin' Richardson's. So do me a favor, go over there and show my wife some love. Her stuff is more short form content, um, so a little bit easier to digest. But I want to just say welcome to the platform, honey, and I will make sure to plug your videos as much as I can. With that being said, I'm going to wrap the video up. My wife is about to be home, so I want to be present for her arrival. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, life is about the journey and not the destination. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Okay, my wife just got home. We're talking about the video that I just literally right now recorded. And here's the Easter egg at the uh, end of the video. This little family is three and we're gonna try for four. That's right. We're gonna try to have another baby. So 
new baby Richardson, hopefully coming 2024. Stay tuned.